Hello everybody and welcome to the Emerson Swan Training Trailer where today I'm going to show you how to do a field conversion from natural gas to propane on the new HTP Ariston Elite Ultra Boiler with the new Extra Tech Heat Exchanger. This is a trim package that comes with the boiler. Um, it's actually packaged uh, right behind the boiler when you uh, uncrate the boiler uh, you'll find this and inside you'll find the uh, boiler manifold, piping, the unistrut to mount it to the wall, uh, a bunch of different parts, the, the uh, nipple for the uh, vent pipe, etc. But what I'm interested in at the moment is the field conversion. So we talk about uh, the setting up of the burner with the CO and CO2 adjustments on the gas valve. Well, if you have to perform a field conversion, in other words, if the, the boiler would be configured for natural gas and we're going to convert it to propane, uh, the trim package comes with the appropriate parts for the field conversion. This is the Polyduro Venturi, which is for the LP conversion. Um, it shows on the black tag here, gas type LPG, to confirm this is the proper. Venturi. The natural gas to propane conversion instructions are actually in the document package. I've already removed that to show them to you. And um, you also have a, a sticker which would be applied to the side of the boiler after the conversion for documentation. You have the required gaskets for the gas line coming into the Venturi. When we do a conversion, we want to replace and use the gaskets that come with the kit. And then, of course, the, the LP diaphragm, which will be inserted into the, the Venturi itself. So let me push these aside, and I'll actually open up a boiler and pull off the existing natural gas Venturi and perform a conversion. We're going to go ahead and open up the boiler and access the parts. Again, fold down the uh, display and expose the internal parts of the boiler and we will start to disassemble the parts required. Now this boiler, of course, when they come from the factory, it, it came through uh, 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 pre-adjusted and set up with a natural gas Venturi and that's what we're going to change out for the conversion. So, let's take our field wiring box off and then we have our silencer let's remove that junction box mount remove that now we can see the polyduro venturi which is the part we're removing this is set up for natural gas we'll be removing that and installing our uh, Polydoro Venturi designed for LP. So first thing we're going to do is, and pardon me, I'm going to have to probably block your view a little bit. We'll get in here and remove the gas pipe. And remember, we're going to use the gaskets that came with the kit so we can place aside the original. The next thing, we will take a 10 millimeter socket or nut driver and remove. There are three fasteners on the Venturi. With the third fastener removed, we can see the natural gas polyduro venturi with the natural gas diaphragm inserted into it, and we will be making this conversion. We do want to make note that the recessed O ring is in good condition and properly inserted for a good seal. We go ahead and place the LP diaphragm into the Venturi. 
Make sure our mating surfaces are nice and clear. It's brand new, so it looks to be in really good shape. We'll go ahead and put our fasteners on. Last but not least, using the gaskets that came with the conversion kit. Fasten up our fittings and then go ahead and we'll put our parts back together. That clips in, put our silencer in. field wiring connection box will route our wires and we just converted the Venturi's for our natural gas to propane conversion and at this point of course we would enter into our combustion analysis and gas valve adjustment